Good day, everyone. My name is Ralph Rosales, and I am with Hans Latilia, Maureen Ong, Francine Tabifranca, and Francis Moncal. And we are Group 4A of University of St. LaSalle College of Nursing. And this is our study on sleep deficiency among nursing students. Background of the study. Sleep deficiency is a common problem seen amongst college students. This can lead to many issues, including the effect of cognitive performance, health, and overall function, according to Heather Owens, 2017. Cognitive performance is highly influenced by sleep quality and multiple factors such as stress, but contradicting this idea, many college students suffer from sleep deficiency. The researchers chose this study in order to determine the factors causing sleep deficiency among college students. The study will enhance the in-depth understanding of the possible reasons that may affect the academic performance of the students. For the research design, our research design will be quantitative descriptive. There are currently 405 enrolled second year and third year nursing students. For the second year, we have 276, and for the third year, we have 179. According to Rausoff, we are going to need 209 participants as our sample size. For the methods, the sample size is 209 out of the 454 enrolled students. For the target, the nursing students. The sample, participants through stratified random sampling. For the second year, we have 276 multiplied to 209 divided by to 455 and equals to 127. For the third year, we have 179 Multiply to 209 divided by 2, 255 equals to 82 for the total sample of 209. The instrument we'll be using is a researcher-made questionnaire which separates the factors causing sleep deficiency into five categories. First category is cognitive and behavioral. Second, environmental. Third, school-related. Fourth, social. Fifth, medical. For a reliability test, we use Convex Alpha with a score of 0.849. For the results in the demographic profile for age, most of the participants are 18 to 20 years old, or 52%, while 43% are 21 to 23 years old. Both 24 to 26 and 27 and above are 2%. And for sex, 28% are males and 71% are females. And for the year level, uh, level two is 60%, while level three is 39%. And for the sleep duration, most of the nursing students sleep four to six hours or 71%, followed by seven to nine hours a day with 48 participants or 23%. And lastly, 5% sleep one to three hours a day. And for factors causing sleep deficiency among nursing students, these are the results of the different factors rated in frequency as one, as never, two, as rarely, three, as sometimes, four, as very often, and five, as always. And these factors are cognitive behavioral factors, environmental factors, school-related factors, social factors, and medical factors. And in the results, the relationship between sleep deficiency factors and age, there is no significant finding in environmental, social, and medical factors, while there is a significant finding in cognitive, behavioral, and school-related factors. And in relationship between sleep deficiency factors and sex, there is no significant finding in environmental, school-related and social factors, while there is a significant finding in cognitive behavioral factors and medical factors. And for the relationship between sleep deficiency factors and year level, there is no significant finding in cognitive behavioral, school-related, and social factors, while there is a significant finding in environmental and medical factors. And lastly, for the relationship between sleep deficiency factors and sleep duration, there is no significant finding in cognitive behavioral 
uh, school related and social factors, while there is a significant finding in environmental and medical factors. For the recommendation, despite the busy schedules college students experience, it can be prioritized with proper time management. Finding balance between school and social life will help accomplish a more organized approach to daily tasks. An article by Purdue University listed ways students can utilize time and effectively manage their schedules. These are, number one, identify time wasters. Identify activities that draw our focus away from the tasks we are supposed to be doing. Number two, plan ahead by creating a to-do list, identifying the tasks needed to be completed and prioritize them according to due date and the time needed to be completed. Number three, tackle small tasks to start. Start with the shortest and simplest tasks as these can accumulate to bigger accomplishments. Number four, only do one thing at a time. Performing multiple tasks simultaneously only leads to less productivity. Number five, establish routines. Routines will turn into habits which help the days flow easier and hassle-free. And lastly, take time off. You work in short intervals and take a short break. Conclusion, sleep deficiency is a sleep disorder caused by eight factors that can be categorized as in biological, medical, psychiatric, environmental, genetics, non-psychiatric, cognitive, and psychosocial according to Hunter Yotam book in Psychiatric Nursing. The majority of the nursing students that participated in the study claim that they attain up to 46 hours of sleep, no matter the age, sex, and year level, which is not far from the recommended seven to nine hours for people their age. The data shows that there is no definitive indication of what causes the inadequate amount of sleep, as it is a common occurrence among them. With these findings, the student nurses can be assisted in maximizing their time wisely and minimize sleep deficiency.